Aha. Da kada. Can life get any better than this? Yes. How? I said I'm Okay. <laughs> I'm out water leaking here right now. I'm okay, drooling. Hey. How can life get better than this boy? So Alicia, what are you cooking today, Alan? Fowl. That's rooster hard fowl. You making curry fowl or fowl curry? Same thing, no matter. In the matter. You making a curry? Same curry. You making Creole? <laughs> so you cook it. So you making a bunjal today? <laughs> yeah. All right. I will make it with the, with, with the shrimp, girl. No, same curry. Yeah. A bunjal shrimp? Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Unless if you want me to leave back some to throw in there. No, darling. Okay. We making bunjal shrimp and eating shrimp, eating shrimp. When you're eating same, you're eating same. When you're eating edo, you're eating edo. All right. And when you're fishing, you're fishing. <laughs> when last you see us in the kitchen like this? Huh? Hello, everybody. Yeah, we took a break for a while, but we're back. All right? How are you I miss everybody. Yes. And we miss you, Miss Lynch. My way has got to zoom in my face. I'm because I want the board to see your lovely face. How pretty it looks. Yeah, you look handsome too. Let me show you. Yes, sure yes. And of course, the girl Alicia says she want. Wait a minute, I want to do it, darling. Say it loud, darling. No whisper. Gotcha. You know, when you whisper, it makes it more <laughs> intense and more like. Right. Do you have Yes, we have cracketer or like snail. Bye bye, Sonny and Sweetie, and we have pachoni. Yeah. So you no longer want the pachoni, you, you prefer the snail now? No, I'm going to take a little bit, I'm right. Good, good. Garlic and seasoning pepper. And look at all the goodness there. Fine time broad, time celery, married man. All the goodness down there, by with some pepper and ginger. We got the okra that going in here, you know, with the mango, with the shrimp, curry. Bunjal shrimp, when you see the oil on there, heating right now. And I put some of the green seasoning on the um, rooster there. I got some other meats. Seasoning down here, by those meat for when we go down to Lake Main stay. We heading down to Lake Main stay and they're a week from now, so I done marinate the meat and have it there. So when we're gonna throw it up on the grill, me and my man Fish Pro and Soja Man coming from Florida, we going down there by um, Lake Main stay resort mm. and we gonna grill and do we thing, you know. My girl Alicia, she cannot come into the kitchen as I used to before, yeah, as much as she would like to come in, all right. But no that she's here today, I'm here with her. I did all the preparatory work. She just got to show it in the car here and cook while I go get a shower and yeah, come back. Is, I can't stand up too long or sit down too long. It's alright. Ah, the Isla born. Show enjoying them goodness there. Like, I forget how to cook. Bring the jira masala <laughs> for them, what is it? To work on the car photo. Something else, Chad. Um, the four spice. Yeah, I'll put it in a plate. Oh, yeah, I'll put it in a plate yeah. and mix it up and throw it in here like um, oh, fry up. This girl forget how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> she forget, she forget. She ain't cook for four months now. Right? From February to June, she ain't cook. And today is June 11th, really 2022. Time, <laughs> so let's show a little mix. I know this girl don't cook too much on TV now. But um, we got two spoonful of curry powder. Two curry powder. One turmeric. You'll teach me now. Yeah, darling. Oh. And always remember, the curry powder must be more. If you put two curry powder, put one masala, one jeera, or one and a quarter, one and a half jeera. But the masala must be the least of it, with a one teaspoon of salt, and you mix the goodness there by your guy. Uh huh. Look at that. Can life get any better than this? Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm out water leaking here right now. I'm drooling. Hey. How can life get better than this boy? Five minutes later and the paste ready. So my girl gonna yeah, my girl gonna put in the um, shrimp in it. Yeah, if it's not properly cooked, um, it's gonna taste raw. So instead of three minutes, it took five minutes, alright? And this chef don't play. When you're cooking, you're cooking it. Uh huh. Ah, this this jumper shrimp catch man. 
Ja to mit, da gut nicht sehr weit. Oh. And I want to say a big shout out to my man Nicholas Jack Mohan man. Man is a die hard fan, you know, my number one fan man. Big up to you my boy Nicholas Jack Mohan from New York, from Queens, New York man. Big up man. Second car he Seasoning, sizzling there, boy. Mm-hmm. And this is what you do. I make sure you get every single drop of this seasoning there, boy. Oh, good. Mm. Into this car, right? Well, the same mixture apply here to the chicken curry. Here is the, the bunjal chicken, all right? Just like this bunjal shrimp. We got some helpers in the kitchen, Santa helpers. Y'all miss it. We had ultra, we put a cutting board just now. One nice. cutting board. Megan is be taking care of. Let me be a frog. Um, the kitchen, alright? Mikey cut up the board. Uh, Mikey cut up the carayla. The man there in the kitchen there. Preparing the carayla there, boy. So this man learning enough, you know. So the teamwork, you know, all five of us. And we, we, we can we name the lucky five? Fantastic five. The Fantastic Five? Fantastic. Yeah! Alright, so we're the Fantastic Five in the kitchen here. Now, how often do you find the entire family in the kitchen cooking and doing things? Every guys, Saturday every Saturday they promise me, alright? So families, guys, make sure y'all get y'all children, y'all wife and wives, y'all get y'all husband and children in the kitchen. Y'all do teamwork. And it's a lot of fun. We are spending time here together with each other. Alright? Fun time. And these are moments my children that I remember and pass on to their children when we are no longer in this world. All right? I am passing on what I learned from my father, the moments I had with him. I, I am passing it on to my key. And what my mother taught me, I am passing it on to my children as well. So my mother and my father create moments with me. So we are creating moments with our children so they can carry on the legacy. All right? Cheers. And they're going to continue to learn to cook chicken curry and um, bunjal shrimp and bunjal chicken and some duck curry and things. And yeah, fry looking at me. Taste it, taste it, you know, man. <laughs> you can smell your seasoning. Yeah, you could. I know. Let, let's see how the shrimp look there right now. Oh! You try it on there like it's done, like it's finished. You ready to miss me? No, yeah. Look at that, boy. Can I see it? It's it? smart, you bought it in the wrong part, eh? Yeah, they because they it look proper there. So, dal, we don't know dal and rice. How much you guys can relate to this here? Bunjal shrimp, the dry down one. With the dal and the rice and the hot hot pepper sauce. Are you guys need to remember that? Back in the 80s and the 90s, we used to be lashing that. Especially the folks from Essequimo. We used to catch the catchman shrimp at the back trench and the front trench with the CP. You remember the CP business? We used to get the, the um, bran, the rice bran or the bussi, you call it. Mix it with molasses and make balls, throw it in the water, and then afterward you throw the cast it on the same spot and you catch a lot of shrimp. Or you have the sippy, you put the same ball in the sippy and, and you leave it in the water for like 20 minutes. And you slowly pick up the sippy and get a lot of shrimp. Many of you Eskimans know about that. I guess the Barbicians know about it too because you guys had Cashman shrimp down the end there and now we are only getting Cashman shrimp from Barbie's side and East Coast. Eskimo, it become extinct. You don't get it no more. Look at the goodness there, boy. Uh -huh. Look at the goodness there, boy. Uh -huh. Come down and turn up, turn up the thing there. Let that goodness cover up the meat there. So we lashing authentic Guyanese food today. Creole dish, Creole fowl cock, and bunjal shrimp, catchman or jumper shrimp, egg belly. Time to show you all what's going on in the Karahi. Whoa! Look at that, boy. Couldn't get better than this, eh? Uh huh, uh huh. Next one. Oh, bubbling, bubbling there, boy. Hey, this thing smell good. We're gonna finish up the cooking. I got lash some other goodness there. I got head out to the sea wall. I got meet up with some fans, subscribers, followers. First, I'm gonna show y'all what the beach look like or what the sea wall look like Saturday afternoon. All right? Look at the goodness here, boy. 
I got some rice. I got some bonjal shrimp there. And this here, I am pre-diabetic, so I wanna eat a really healthy and balanced diet. And I appeal to you guys. I know you work hard, and you think, well, working hard, you burn all the sugar. No, you don't always work that way. I used to think the same until I became pre-diabetic. Now I'm eating healthy. I have like a little handful of rice. I have some fresh karela or bitter gourd. This is one of the key ingredients to maintain a balanced blood sugar, all right? So we have some raw ones or you can pickle it or you can stir fry it, you know. Don't overcook it so you'll get the benefits. Or you can squeeze it and get the juice, the karela juice or the karela leaves. You can boil it and drink it to lower your sugar, right? Or to maintain blood sugar. Now, shrimp is not a healthy choice because too much of it is not good for you. But I haven't eaten shrimps maybe in about six weeks. So, I've eaten some there. Now, we're going to this rooster curry here, by. Oh my God, that looks so good. Mmm. It's not, it's not finished, but I can still try some of the gravy in here, right? But it smells good. And I, oh, and I'm gonna take the liver and the giblet. I don't want, want to eat the meat, all right? But I'm gonna search for the liver and the giblet. And tell all you how it tastes. And of course, I got a little pepper here, right? Hey, buddy. First, I want to taste the shrimp and the rice. <sighs> Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I with the viewers behind this camera. water with you. The taste as yesteryears, 30 years ago, when my mother used to cook it. When I used to go and catch it with a gas net or a sippy. You tell her so how you used better. to catch it? Mm-hmm. You used to run it for home or catch it? Ooh. It's hot, but it's tasty. Life is good. I'm going to finish up this day. We're going to finish up the cooking. Next, I have no the sea wall. All right? The goodness continue. Making my way on the sea wall. Have some folks doing yoga. Looks like we have some yoga classes going on here. I'm gonna take you guys down to the beach. Not sure what's going on there, but I'm gonna go find out. Two weeks ago, we had big sessions on the beach here, man. This girl, Miss Roberts. I know the girl's songs, but I just can't remember it right now. But she sings some real nice song. She was right on top of the beach here jumping up, man. Right here. Alright. It's good to see folks, you know, back on the beach slash sea wall here, you know, come out and enjoy the fresh air and picnic and some of that. It's real nice. I think I'm gonna sit right here and do my stuff, enjoy the beach. My lovely wife and um, my kids should join me later on this afternoon i invited them i hope they come out and of course you know miss lynch cannot you know do all the things she used to do before so it's depending on how she's feeling if she's feeling like to get up and about then she's gonna come out but let me go take a walk on the jet to see what them fellas catch in their way i'll probably give you guys an aerial view all right A lot of fishermen on the jetty that way. Wow. You can see so many folks here on the jetty. The tides are receding. And I haven't seen the shrimping net guys here, but they're a little bit more out that side. Because once these guys drop the seine here, the shrimping nets, you get the catfish come bite right at the bottom here. 
all right but they're not here so i guess these guys are gonna be catching a lot of stuff here today all right well let me walk down the aisle to see what them fellas catching man but you get so far away Pakulo? Where are you now, my boy? Where are you now? Where are you now? Life can't get better than this, my boy. Again, we reach up again. Reach up again, my boy. Walk, 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 walk. I'm the biggest man again, my boy. What's your name, man? Ravin. Ravin, where you catch today? Look at Ravin. Whoa! You got a lot of fish there. Where are you now? The last day you know, we tell you about where we reach up by Lindy. Lindy, yeah. Ravin, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you now, my boy? I shout them all out. So now, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my big fan here, my number one fan, right? Yeah. All right, buddy. Good luck catching there. All right. I never remember. Yes, yes. Whoa. You got a nice. It's a price bash on it, but it's a big one. Well, I was looking for you for Orlando and um, the other guy was. Rocky? Yeah, Rocky and the other. Somebody for him. Azim, you saw the law. Waters always won't catch fish. Correct, correct. Oh, my God. I know you can't see Well, you see, you reach me here. All right. What's up, man? Yeah. Pleased to meet you, man. Yeah. Pleased to meet you, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, life can't get better than this, buddy. All right. You know what, Shadow? What's your name? What's your name? Jaden. What's your father's name? Ganesh. Ganesh. So big up to your father, right? Good, my man. What's up? What's up, man? Life can't get better, buddy. Keep watching, all right? Cool, man. Yeah, yeah, my man. Hey, you got a lot of young. Yeah, man. No problem. Appreciate it. Thanks, right? That's where them fellas catch it here, buddy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. A lot of fish are men and they're tea there, buddy. <laughs> Mama, you're catching a cold now. <laughs> you're not catching nothing. <laughs> no problem, brother. No problem. Every day is fishing day, but every day is not catching day, right? <laughs> All right. What about that, man? Yeah, once you have fun, that's the main thing. <laughs> I know, right? The last at all in the finals. I know, boy. I know. All right, then, fellas. Doesn't seem to be a catching afternoon here. Where you catch one? Is it the bad Yeah, catch two. Two of them? Lovely, lovely. Yeah, I've been in the race because nobody else said I ain't catch one yet. <laughs> At the front there? This tree here or the front? <laughs> Let's see what they're catching, man. Whoa! Man, I got a nice it's, 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 um, tree, tree, no? Look at the boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fishing like a pro, boy. Yeah, there's a boss. <laughs> I mean, nice, nice. Tree, 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 tree color, right? Or, what's the fish name? There's yeah, some catfish species, man. All right, all right, buddy. Good luck, man. I'll keep catching. Good, good. Got some more folks out there. All right. Oh, hey, now, man. <laughs> so, the boys catching, you know. Some of the fishermen ain't catching nothing. These guys are catching. Yeah, the man bit more sweet. I want really, I'll bait more sweet. <laughs> I want bait more sweet so I catch the fish. But look at the atmosphere here, my beautiful man. Man, it's windy and it's cool. You know, it's like almost five o'clock. The sun is supposed to be setting. Well, it's under a dark cloud here. Don't you worry, it got set momentarily. But for now, I'm enjoying the cool atmosphere here, man. All the way down there, you can see a lot of people there, man. Beautiful, beautiful atmosphere. All right. And now we got three big buildings. Now we have the Pegasus, the new Pegasus, the old Pegasus, and the Marriott. Fish, my fish on the line. This man catching gale back up. <laughs> bring up, bring up the gale back on it. Why we ain't buying the same You got, you got to carry it to Monrepo Market for sale, boy. <laughs> All right. I know, I know. Little aquaria tree tree or so. Yeah. Alright, alright. The main thing I'll have a fun man, right? Yeah, that's Good. the main thing. Once you have fun, that's yeah, it. That, that's the main thing. Yes. Yeah. Enjoy, you gotta enjoy and have fun. Yeah. Alright, my man. So that's the main objective on the sea wall here, man. Having fun. Celebrating and enjoying, yeah. Look, I got some young fans here, man. What about now, fellas? Y'all yeah. yeah, love watching the channel? Yeah, yeah. 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 No problem, but I appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot, right? Yeah, what kind of old football you got there, man? You yeah, have to play football? All you have to play football? Yeah. How much of football? 3,000. 3,000? Yeah. All right, I'm buying two for you, all right? Yeah. Good? Yeah. So I can get new football. I'll give you the money if you can buy it, right? All right, good. So I got some big fans here, man, all right? Life couldn't get any better than this, eh, boy?
look, look what's going on here, boy. Them fishermen, y'all head home, boy. Look what's going on here. Look at this dark cloud here, boy. Everybody now trying to get out of here because of this cloudy rain. Now, I was supposed to meet up with some subscribers on the beach here. Not sure if they're gonna still come, but looks like we're gonna have to head home. Alright? So, hope you guys enjoy the journey with me, enjoy the day with me. Stay safe and positive. Take care of you and those around you. God bless you. Peace out. And I will see you on our next adventure.